So Shadow Fable released this week and it released a couple of amazing products. First and foremost, we have the two amazing special illustration rare collections, the Greninja EX uh, special illustration collection and the Kingdra EX special illustration collection. And I've covered this in my video where I kind of just broke down Shadow Fable and why I think it's a good set how many people thought those cards should have been in the set because they would have been absolute banger chases. But I like them being as promos. It makes you actually want to buy some sealed product because you get amazing promos. And those boxes are really cool. But there's a box I don't see a lot of people talking about. And today we're going to open it up and review this box. But before we get into that, I do have a giveaway for today. I am going to be giving away all three promo cards from the new King Gambit special, our illustration collection. This features a King Gambit illustration, a Bisharp Cosmo foil, and a Ponyard uh, Cosmo foil. So all you gotta do is like this video, subscribe to the channel for great video game and Pokemon TCG content, and let me know down in the comment section below, is this product worth it? So with that being said, today we're gonna be opening up that King Gambit promo box. Now this is a box that retails for $21.99, but I have seen it all over the place for much cheaper. Uh, mini card shops, stuff like that, are selling it for much, much more affordable value. So if you're looking for this product, all you gotta do is shop around and I assure you, you'll find it under retail. But for our review today of this product, we're gonna go off of the $21.99 retail value price. So this is basically your collection box. I do like the fact that it's much smaller. Like they definitely saved on packaging because most collection boxes are about this wide. It's definitely trimmed down, which is wild to me that Pokemon will do this for like this and then the Annihilate box. And then they'll turn around and make a huge collection box for something like Grafia EX. Like why can't you just, Pokemon, why can't you just reduce it down to this the whole time? Like what is the point of doing these huge collection boxes and wasting space? I know there are jumbo card collectors out there but I'm sure you can find a way to fit a jumbo card into a box like this and still save packaging space because I've always hated those like extremely large boxes. So let's go ahead and get our three promo cards out. Which, by the way, if I had to choose a product that I love the most from Shadow Fable, just I'm not going to make this uh, review bias, but I love this product because I love this promo card. King, King Gambit. This is promo number 130. Look at that artwork, guys. Absolutely stunning. Go to head. I'm going to go ahead and put a sleeve on it because, you know, like we say, if you like it, then you should put a sleeve on it. Absolutely stunning. You also get a code card, which I'll give away in today's video. And then you get two Cosmo foils. These are the Obsidian Flame version. Um, not my optimal artworks for uh, Ponyard and Bisharp, because there are a couple of others out there that are just a little bit cooler, especially the ones that came in the Battle Academy. But I'm not gonna complain too much about that because they look great together, will be amazing in the binder together. So let's go ahead and lay these three out across. And then you get four booster packs. Like I said, once again, this is just like your regular collection uh, box minus the, uh, the um, jumbo card. You don't get a jumbo card in here. But you get four booster packs. Uh, cool thing is we got all four individual artworks. And then you get your three promos. So automatically, if you're looking just for a simple collection box, something with multiple packs and some nice promos, you're getting your money's worth because you're getting exactly what you're looking for. Now, the pool rates of this set, I haven't seen anything on pool rates. I don't know how this set looks in terms of pool rates. I don't know if they're good, if they're bad, but... I know you can get reverse energies. Unfortunately, we did not get one there, but we're going to see if we can get anything good. I'm hoping for at least one illustration rare because those sort of cards I'm chasing. While an SAR Casio, uh, Cassiopeia would be nice, um, illustration rares is where it's at in the set, especially that Duskull line. That would be amazing. Oh, that's nice. The Meowth from Sweet. Beautiful card. Real, look at that. Such a stunning card. So happy for that. I really love this artwork. Drogon. And Monkey Dory EX. Okay. 
Not bad. I know Monkey Dory's not uh, not extremely playable because I know he uh, revolves around playing with Pekarunt EX. But still a cool card nonetheless. Not my personal chase. Uh, probably my least favorite of the uh, the four SARs in the set. Because, or no, I would say Okie Dogie then uh, Monkey Dory. If I get an SAR that's a Pokemon, I'd prefer Pheasantipity or um, uh, Tegarant. Because I think they're just both a little bit more interesting. Axew, so adorable. I love the Fracture. AR in the set. I would love that. Academy at night. Once during each player's turn, that player may put a card from their hand to the top of their deck. I can see that being useful in like certain niche styles of gameplay. Maybe something where you're milling and you want to put cards to mill. But I don't know. It just doesn't seem like it's for me. We got something shining in the background. Uh, it might just be a hollow rare, but hopefully it's something more. Put a Pokemon or a basic energy card from your discard pile in your hand. That's nice because it is an item, so you can use these continuously. Uh, basic energy card or a Pokemon, that's nice. Cassiopeia, okay. You can use this card when it's the last card in your hand. You search your deck up for, uh, for up to two cards and put them in, into your hand. This could be useful, but I think using a draw supporter might just be a little bit more optimal. Orsi, love this artwork, beautiful card. And Kaparaja. Uh, it is a Kaiwa U art, so I love uh, the artwork here, but definitely not a card we wanted to see. And then there goes your reverse energy, uh, metal energy. Look at the Pokeballs, so cool. I know we're getting a new style of energy in the uh, upcoming Stellar set, Stellar Crown. So this is kind of like the last haul for this uh, set of energies. And I love that they gave the reverse hollow energy some love and gave them their own unique design. So that way they kind of stand out. Instead of just being a shiny version of your basic energies that we've had since Scarlet and Violet, you got something a little bit cooler. Zero Six Machinations, your opponent discards their hand until they have three cards in hand. This could be good for any decks that might end up wanting massive hand sizes. So I could see this being a control tool trainer. Um, but I don't see it being used by everybody. It's just it's definitely one of the weaker cards We got dust Cops, so there goes one of our first cards that would be deemed playable uh, I know dust noir and dust Cops. the ability is really really popular a lot of people think this is gonna be amazing uh, We'll have to wait and see how the meta shapes out to see if it actually has a true impact because the last set we had Dragapult EX being like rumored to be this amazing card and it ended up flopping but I don't think this card will necessarily flop. I actually think it'll be really good, uh, as well as that Dust Noir. Slitherwing once again, got that Shinji Kondo reverse. And then a Tapu Bulu, who also has an illustration rare in the set, but uh, not a necessarily good illustration rare, in my opinion. It's the worst illustration rare in the set. Sorry to any Tapu Bulu fans who really wanted that Tapu Bulu uh, art rare to exist, just not for me. Unfortunately, it's just a leaf energy, so no reverse energy here. Last pack of this collection box. Let's see if we can get anything good. Come on, give us something. You always want at least one hit when opening up any collection box, right? Or any product. You at least want one hit. So let's hope we get something. I mean, we did get the Monkey Dory, but I'm talking about like something a little bit better. We got... Colrus's Tenacity. Search your deck for a stadium card and an energy card. Reveal them and put them into your hand. Then shuffle your deck. Not bad at all, especially with the new stadiums that are coming out as A specs. They're really powerful. Genesect. A reverse Zero Six Machinations. Okay. Oh, there we go, baby. Persian. Which, if you can't see, done by an artist named Whisker. Perfect artist to do this Persian. Definitely gives that Giovanni vibe. Uh, definitely, It definitely feels like Giovanni's Persian. Really beautiful artwork. Definitely one of the chases of the set for me personally. Super stoked to pull that. And then the Dust Noir. There you go with the Curse Blast. You may put 13 damage counters on one of your opponent's Pokemon. If you use this ability, this Pokemon is knocked out. Really, really good sniping effects. Definitely gonna see a lot of play. But look at that. 
super happy with that. I've opened up seven packs so far. I pulled one EX, one Illustration Rare, and one um, Full Art Trainer. So I'm super stoked with what we've pulled so far. Really happy with this Persian. Look at that. That's stunning. Such a good card. So with that being said, that's it for today's opening, guys. Uh, I think we actually did really well. I, I'm really happy with this Persian hit. Definitely a good hit. Monkey Dory's okay. Monkey Dory's not something I'm going to be writing home about. But you know what? Another card added to the collection. And then you got your three beautiful promos. So I would honestly say that the, the $16, $18 or so this box would have costed me buying at retail. It would have been worth it to me, personally. I had a lot of fun opening it. We got that beautiful last, uh, last pack magic with the Persian. We got to add the Persian to the collection. On top of that, you get the amazing promos. So to me personally, this box is worth it. Maybe my bias is showing a little bit because I really love this promo. But I actually think if you're looking to buy some boxes that are worth opening up before the ETBs come out or before the uh, booster bundles come out in September, if you really want something affordable that you can just rip packs out of, this is probably your best go-to product. I think that the special collections, the ones with the Kingdra and the Greninja are probably gonna hold their value closer to retail just because the promos are gonna be so desirable. So I think those boxes might be a little bit more on the pricier side, but I think a lot of people are overlooking this King Gambit box. And I think you 100% will be able to get a benefit from this King Gambit box. And I 100% recommend it, guys, that you should be, uh, definitely, definitely 100% pick up this product if you're looking to open up Shroud of Fable. With that being said, that is my review of the new Shroud of Fable King Gambit illustration collection. Let me know down in the comment section below. Do you think this product is worth it? Do you think it's kind of a pass? Are you even excited for Shroud of Fable? Cause I know I'm gonna get a lot of no's on that question. But once again, you seen we pulled that amazing, amazing Persian and that card is beautiful. So like I said, there's a lot of amazing art rares in this set. And I definitely recommend looking into those if you're interested. So with that being said, guys, thank you all so much for watching the video. I'll catch you on the next one. Remember to keep it awesome.